Hello, it's The Plug. How can I help you? What's up, everybody? My name is Kiana, and I am the owner and creator of The Party Plug. The Party Plug is a one-stop shop business that focuses on event styling, luxury balloon decor, and party rentals. Now that you know who I am, I am so happy to have you here on my channel for the new segment called Plug Talk. I'll be sharing tips, tricks, and all of the scoops of things that you need to know if you are a part of the event world. So let's get into it, girl. First, let me start by saying I am so excited to be bringing this new segment to the channel. I think it's needed. I think it's something that I wish was around when I first started event planning. I felt like I just didn't know where or who to go to for advice. I just kind of had to start from the bottom up and just figure everything out. And trust me, I have made so many mistakes and I'm just now like really getting into my own groove of things and figuring things out and learning what works best for my business and what doesn't. So the focus of today's video is three signs you're not charging enough for your event. So the first sign that you're not charging enough for your event is when you get to a point where you start creating your own prices in your head without doing the proper research on what things really cost because you're not going to vendors, you're not asking them what their prices are for certain things. You're just literally guesstimating what things should cost and what you think they cost in your head. You're putting an invoice together and you're sending it to your client. That's a no-no. It's going to mess with your integrity, right? Once you start planning things and you realize that you need more money in the budget and you did not quote this event properly, Guess who's coming out of pocket to cover the cost because you don't know how to go back and tell your client that I charged you the wrong price. And you don't want to make yourself look bad. You don't want to make yourself look unprofessional. So you are you end up coming out of your own pocket for the event. It doesn't matter if it's an extra $100, extra 300, 500 those coins count and you will definitely see a dent in your pocket when you are pulling from your own pot to throw back into the event. Okay, so this next sign that tells you you're not charging enough for your events is so big and I'm pretty sure everybody has gone through something like this, but it is huge. And that is not being able to pay the people that help you. Y'all, you do not want to have an event that you're gonna be at the day of setting up and it takes you about, what, five to six hours to set up and you have five or six people there helping you and you cannot pay them anything because you did not charge enough, that pay for the people that is helping you should be included in the budget. When you are sending your client over the quote of what things are gonna cost, you need to figure out what you're paying the people that's helping you, whether it be like per hour or like a flat rate, you need to figure that out. So with my business, by the grace of God, I have so many friends and family that believe in my business so much that they are willing to help me when I set up and they don't ask for anything in return. However, I'm at a place where I'm starting to feel unfulfilled that I can't pour into the people that pour into me. So I know that that's something that I have to fix and upgrade in my business immediately. And I'm just coming to tell y'all, like we all go through it. I'm not any different from somebody that's just starting. I might just know a little bit more, but I had to get here. Like I had to figure it out. And so when my events are over, I am literally texting every single person that helped me. I'm telling them how much I appreciate them. And they are not looking for anything in return, but I'm also letting them know I am working on adjusting my prices, adjusting this and that because I want to be able to pay you. I sit down and I do these mock-ups and I never really know like how I'm gonna make this stuff come 
like to fruition like I know I had the talent I know that I can do it but I also know that I can't do it alone so if I can sit there and come up with these visions and I have enough courage to reach out to them to ask them to help me I should be able to pay those people that are willing to help me I mean when it comes to my events I've had people climbing up ladders I've had people running in my last minute errands I've had people like you on setup days with me for hours and then they come back and help me with breakdown so why would I not want to pay those people my friends my family are the ones that's helping me my mother is having my kids like all of those people are on the day of technically employees that need to be paid because without them I wouldn't be able to do the things that I need to do and move the way that I need to move on my event days. Previously, I probably would not have been open enough and willing to share this information because it is specific to things that are going on in my business. However, I'm figuring it out right now as we speak and I will be able to pay the people that are helping me. I feel like because I made the mistake already and I started out not pricing things the right way I can express this to y'all so that y'all don't have to make the same mistakes that I made when you are starting an event business you feel like you can't charge as much when you're first starting because you don't have any experience but let me tell you something talent is talent and talent is undeniable like they nobody can deny your talent if they're coming to you anyway it's because obviously they believe in you and they trust they've seen something you've done before and they trust you so why so then why would you not be willing to pay me the price that I'm asking for if you are new here I do create videos um, that are titled behind the scenes of an event planner and then I have set up with me um, videos on the day that I set up but those behind the scenes are recorded over like a time period I'm even before I start recording behind the scenes I am doing my research on where I can get certain things from I'm traveling to different whether it be vendors or stores to pick up things and then now that I know I can lock these things in I'm creating a digital mock-up because I'm a visual person I need to see these things on paper or somewhere to make sure my vision and what I'm picturing in my head I can get I like I can actually bring it to life the event starts way before the event day the event day is like the fun part Everything else that comes before it, they, they don't see. I, we don't. We don't show our clients what goes on behind the scenes and how we purchase something from a vendor and it's not coming on time. So now we gotta jump into like, uh, like safety mode and figure out. But we're never gonna express it to them. We're just going to figure out the problems. They don't see that. But that is what they're paying for. Events are a luxury. It's not something that you have to have. It's something that you want to have. So when you pay for luxury services, you're paying for the convenience of not having to do it on your own. Now let's get into the third and last sign that you're not charging enough for your event. So I want to paint the picture because this is like a scenario based um, sign. Your event is now complete and you've done everything that you said you were going to do you brought the vision to life you did all of that right and now it's time to leave your event so you leave your event ecstatic because you're just so happy that you were able to really bring your vision to life and now you're driving home and it's all done and your next emotion that you feel is okay now what what's next i did it it's done now what you don't know when your next event is going to be you wish you had a lot of clientele but you may not have that much clientele so you might not be booked and busy every single weekend and all of those feelings are just coming down onto you and you just start to feel empty and that's because you're snapping back into reality you're like okay it's over i did so much more than what i should have done i didn't charge enough now you're feeling stressed you're falling into like this like you know minor depression state and that right there is just telling you like 
you need to charge more because you should be able to be fulfilled with these events and the fulfillment is going to come from not only just creating because sometimes like the money is great we need the money you have family to take care of good but sometimes like you just want to create right but you once you turn this into a business it's not it's no longer about just creating to create it's creating to attract my next client to make more money to like it's it's kind of like a domino effect like there's step after step after step after step i'm sad i'm depressed i'm super happy that i bought the vision to life but i have nothing to show for it because i didn't charge enough and because i didn't charge enough i ended up taking some of my money and putting it back into their event so even if i was going to make a little bit of a profit i didn't make close to what i could have made at all trust me i i get it i understand but i had to learn the hard way and so i'm giving out you know this information so maybe if this is your story go and change it now girl we feel like we're so passionate about it that we're willing to compromise our happiness we're willing to compromise our worth to just be able to create but in the end i'm telling you because is my experience as well it's not worth it i hope this video was super helpful for you if you are going through any of the things that i talked about i hope that you work towards attracting the clients that believe in you just as much as you believe in yourself so i'll leave y'all with this believe in yourself charge your worth and take care of the people that take care of you. Okay, y'all, so that is what I have for today, and I will talk to y'all in the next episode of Plug Talk. Peace.